titled A Modern Day Job Story. Job was a man living the American dream. He had homes with pools, 7,000 acres of land, he owns 500 condos, $30,000 in stocks and bonds, and much more. Many luxury transports, plane, boats, and more, a loving wife, sons, and daughters. He was honest inside and out, a man of his word, who was totally devoted to God and hated people with a passion. God and Satan get together every thousand years to bet on a man's life. The fate of the world is that state. What all of us get hit with in a lifetime, this man gets hit with in one week. Job would get up early in the morning and pray and worship just in case they sin. One day when the angels came to report to God, Satan, who was the designated accuser, came along with them. God singled out Satan and said, what have you been up to? Satan answered God, going here and there, checking things out on earth. God said to Satan, have you noticed my friend Job? There's no one quite like him, totally devoted to God and hating evil. Satan retorted, so do you think Job does all this out of the sheer goodness of his heart? You pamper him and make sure nothing bad ever happens to him, his family, or his possessions. And you bless everything he does. He can't lose. But what do you think would happen if you reached down and took away everything that is his? He'd curse you right to your face. That's what. God replied, we'll see. Go ahead and do what you want with all that is his. Sometime later, while Job's oldest son was counting the money, he noticed the stock reports. As I attended the daily stock market, it suddenly crashed. The oldest son came to Job and said, I'm the only one to get out alive and tell you what has happened. While he was still talking, another messenger arrived and said, Bolts of lightning struck the land and fried it, burned it to a crisp. I'm the only one to get out alive and tell you what has happened. While he was still talking, another messenger arrived and said, Terrorists are coming from three directions. They raided the transport and massacred all the drivers. I'm the only one to get out alive and tell you what has happened. While he was still talking, another messenger arrived and said, Your children were having a party when a tornado swept in off the desert and swept the house. They the collapsed and the children are scattered. I'm the only one to get out alive and tell you what has happened. Stacking from the news, Job gathered himself. Not once did Job sin nor blame God. Again, the angels came to report to God. Satan also showed up. God said about Satan, saying, he still has a firm grip on his integrity. You tried to trick me into destroying him, but it did not work. Satan answered, a human would do anything to protect his heart. Break it and he'd curse you right to your face. God said, all right, go ahead. You can do what you like. Just do not touch his soul. Satan left God and struck Job's wife, his heart. His wife said, still holding on, still standing, keeping your precious integrity, huh? Fall, give up, curse God and be done with it. He told her, you're talking crazy. Through all this, not once did Job sin against God. He heard the voice of the Lord. Lo, I am with you always. And worse is spark in the spirit. Ephesians 6 and 12 says, For we are not fighting against the flesh and blood of you, but against the evil of the against mighty powers in the dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Psalms 18 and 2 says, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God and my strength, in whom I will trust. Isaiah 61 and 7, Instead of your shame, you shall have double honor, and instead of confusion, they shall rejoice in their portions. Therefore, their land, they shall possess double. Everlasting joy shall be theirs. Ephesians 6 and 10, Finally be strengthened by the Lord in the power of his strength, and everybody returns in all of his soul.